He's dead. By the way, John, it's working, so go ahead with There's the Twitch thing. You are a lifesaver. Cool. Those coffee nuts are dangerous. They're basically volatiles that can talk. Let's and they only that. talk about I one thing. I do that, I do that. See, I think for Twitch, I'm gonna probably have to. Thinking, I'm gonna have to uh, just put the comments on the screen, or I'm gonna have to just not talk to people. Does she have a laptop? I do, but that's really inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but oh man, that's just work that I don't want any part of. <laughs> oh, I found all the um, blueprints from the following DLC. They have some pretty interesting ones. There are indeed. Have you got them? What? I do. Uh, most of them, I think. Um, cause I've got the, I've got, and I'm assuming you have the same thing. You have that, that chip, that chip thing, thing that allows you to open chip to chip yeah. cases. Yeah. 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 I think I've got all, I think I'm missing, I think I'm missing two and they are down in a volatiles nest. There's like two volatiles nests that I haven't cleared out. They're like missions mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that the last two that I'm missing are down in there, and I just have chosen to not fucking go underground into a volatile's nest yet. Okay, then that means that I haven't done it. I haven't done those either, then. Because um, I, I, the only ones I got from there was Tolga's Folly, uh, Timmy's Ballet Grenade, um, Shazoo's Super Zombie Grenade, Twilight Phantom, and Origami 101. I didn't know uh, about the ones yeah. in the nest. I think I pretty much got all the ones you just named off. Um, trying to think. So origami, yep. There's like a weird grenade that's uh, just uh, do like superhero type crap, launch them into the air. Yeah. And there's the ballet one, I think. Ooh, that may be one I don't have. I'm looking right now. Let's see here. The uh, the super zombie grenade it basically um, attracts runners. Um, so if you want to like horde kill, just drop one and they'll all come. Cause I've got yeah I've got. Zezu, Zezu, Chezu, whatever, super zombie grenade. I've got that. Told this folly. I can't hear you, Paige. Never mind. Hold on. No, if you've bought it, it should be right there on the main screen. Wait, have you not even downloaded it yet? Oh shit! <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Right, but you haven't even downloaded it, like, to your system. Oh. Oh, well, sh uh, <laughs> go to your library. I'm confused. Go to your library. I thought you, I thought you were playing Dying Light. What's yes. Finish the prologue. I thought you were doing that. Yeah, you still jump in. dicking around waiting on you. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, well, now I'm... you know how to do it. I'm going off to get underwater algae. I'm going to make some sick bombs. Suck. Yep. Yeah, got the. We, we. That's from the main slums, though. So I've got. So I've got Tolga's Folly, Super Zombie Grenade, Origami, Twilight Phantom. And that's. That's it. Have you used uh, Tolga's Folly? It's a. It just randomly teleports you, man. When yeah. you're in the you're in the countryside, just hitting that button, it just randomly teleports you. Yeah. 
Does it do anything in and the slums or old town? No, you can't. I don't know if you can use it. I haven't tried because I don't want to break the game. Yeah, I haven't tried it either. <laughs> I'm assuming you can only use it in the countryside, though. And then I've got all the experimental uh, parts for the buggy. I don't know if I have all of those. I know I have a few. There's one for each one. So if you don't have all five of them, then you don't have them all. I can't remember which ones I have. I don't, I, don't, I don't have all of them. Just look under your blueprints. You'll know which ones you're missing. Uh, let's see. The, the turbo, brake, suspension, traction, and engine. All the way down. Yep. yep. Turbo, suspension, brakes, and traction. Experimental. So you need two more. <laughs> yeah. I'm Have you finished sure the story? Two more. No. I. It's awesome. You're glitch. You're you're breaking in and out again. <laughs> I said I hate it. Stop. The main story? Yeah, I hate <laughs> the ending. Oh. Uh, yeah, I. I have my ideas of what the ending will be because, of course, there's going to there's going to be a choice. I mean, he's already stated that himself. So I have a, I have my suspicions about what I think those two choices will be. But um, I ended up finding some I ended up finding a couple key cards and some nuke codes, and uh, I just nuked everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, the so red, like a, yeah, it's, the secondary thing. It's like a it's like a secret. Apparently it's supposed to be like a secret ending or some shit like that, and it just like instantly ends everything. Like yeah. You don't even finish any of the story or anything like that. It just that's it. Yeah. The screen goes white, then goes black. Mm -hmm. Well, that's anticlimactic. Well, the cool thing was because I was kind of worried when I did it, because I was like, well, fuck it, I'll just end it now because I've played enough, I'm good. And then I nuked everything, and white screen, then black screen. I was kind of worried. I was like, well, fuck, do I have to start, you know, now I'm going to have to do everything all over again, blah, blah, blah. And then lo and behold, that is not the case. That is the only, I guess that's probably why it's a secret ending, but you can do that one. And then you can uh, immediately go right back to where you were. So it'll pretty much like start you as if you never did that. And then it takes all those said supplies away from you. I.e. card, an, uh, an achievement. Um, I don't, I don't know if I got a trophy with it. I know that I ended up getting a, uh, I know I ended up getting a skin for the character by doing that. What and was the found skin? out that that's the, uh, it's the Team Dying Light skin. So, um, trying to figure out how to explain it to you. Oh, in the load screen whenever you're loading into either the slums or old town and it's got like it's got the runners jumping across the roofs and all the hands reaching up and it's all in black and white mm -hmm. that's pretty much what the shirt looks like okay. and then the pants are black and your knee pads are uh, like a uh, an urban uh, camo it's pretty cool I mean for one that's you know just like a shirt and pants and shit like that I think that's the one it's that I'm not, wearing it's not as should be called Team Dying Light or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> Want to make some sick bombs and see how uh, see how fun these are. Oh, make things fart to death. Make yeah. the zombies fart to death. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what am I lacking? Uh, five more allergy. I'm gonna stop broadcasting until she's done. There's no, there's no point broadcasting me just douching around on my own. This is probably true enough. Hurry up, Paige. You are holding up 
everything. <laughs> that would be pretty. I mean, think about how. Yeah, it was like, no, you can't play with us. That'd be pretty dickish. I'm glad you think so highly of us, though. <laughs> yeah, right. What are you playing there? Original Resident Evil? Yeah, I like some of the changes they made. The. Whatever the fuck they are. The Crimson Hunters or whatever, or an annoyance. Yeah, they're just an annoyance because it causes you to have to use up an inv inventory slot to carry around fuel. And a lighter. So you can burn the bodies of every zombie you kill. Which is fucking annoying. Because otherwise, they turn into crimson hunters and can open doors and follow you through doors and shit. <clears throat> Come on. I see one more algae. Come on. There needs to be a blueprint or a skill or something where you can breathe underwater. There's nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Team Dying Light outfit. And it'll be it'll be under your collectible outfits. All the way at the very fucking bottom. Okay. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna check out what I'm wearing. What the name of it is. I mean, you had to have done the nuke thing that I did. Went to the trailer, set off the nuke. It's the only way to get it. So you had to have done that and forgot. Nah, I know I haven't done that. I don't know where I'm Apparently, all the there is a is. pretty badass um, outfit that you get once you've beaten the game on. Uh, you gotta be on new game plus and hard mode, and it's called trick or treat. And the whole the whole outfit is black, but it has the has like the skeleton on it, mm -hmm. and all that shit glows. Mm -hmm. So like at night when you're running, you can see like your legs and arms glowing and shit like that. Yeah, I thought that one was pretty cool. I think some of the best ones though come with legendary ranks. So I think the first one's at 25. I think it's every 25. <laughs> yeah, the one I want is at level 100. I'm very depressed. The Tahir one. Oh, uh, yep, because you, <laughs> you want that vest, essentially. Yeah. You're going to look just like Tahir just to have his vest. Yeah. Yeah, I think the one I want is at 150. It's called the De Demon of the Quarantine. Damn. And the one out, the outfit I'm wearing is called Puzzle. It's a uh, urban camo pants with a t-shirt with a puzzle piece on it. Yeah, but I have, I have HSTD, which is Haran Special Tactics Division, and then I have Mandala School. Thought it was gonna be herpes sexually transmitted discourse. <laughs> <laughs> herpes sexually transmitted disease outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I have the She's uh just a walking sword. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> awesome. I have the mandala skull, the puzzle, the snake, and then the team dying life. Those are all under collectible. I only got the two, the Man Mandela whatever skull and the puzzle. Like the like the mandala skull and the puzzle? like the snake and the HSTD, you have to go looking for those. And they're not going to be like in a crate. They're going to uh, be just by themselves. They're going to look like a... Uh, i trying to think of something in the game. Uh, they're going to look like, like household supplies or something like that. It's going to just look like this white little bag mm -hmm. folded in like a little square. So they're not going to be in boxes. That's what made them such a pain in the ass to find. Gotcha. They're all in the following though. 
Uh, yeah, those are all. Those are all. Who the fuck? Why did Paige leave? You don't... I don't know. Uh, she doesn't like any of us. Man. I was gonna go through and get all the paint jobs for the buggies, and then I got bored. I got quite a few of them. I don't know how many I have, but I got. I don't know. I probably got like 10 of them. I have no clue. But you have to collect. Yeah. And something like that. Right. Pretty much just trying to find all the developer <laughs> blueprints. And, uh. Pretty much need to go to Old Town for the ones I'm missing. Oh, yeah, 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 because there's a couple here that I still need to show you. Well, I guess we can go ahead and group up. Yeah, you're gonna text her and find out what the hell she doing. Just leaving like yeah, that. Yeah, I could drop all kinds of great shit for her. Yeah. Make this game way easier on her. Yeah. Facebook last night active five minutes ago. Did she fall the shit asleep? Already? She, she was just talking. Sleepy. Yeah, she was like humming to herself and all ripticles and shit. And now she's gone? Like you? She's just like you. You two should get married. <laughs> Be together forever. You guys can pass out while you're talking to one another. <laughs> the funny thing is, there's been multiple situations where that, um, we're trying to watch some damn TV and one of us start dozing the hell off. And then, you know, of course you get woke up like, dude, wake up. And then just tonight, I'm, I'm awake. I'm <laughs> good. I'm awake. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Yeah, you two uh, clearly belong together because you clearly both do the exact same thing. Narcolepsy. Is it narcolepsy if it's alcohol induced, like it usually is for me? I don't know. I think it's still. I think there's still a touch of narcolepsy there, because <laughs> even when you're. I mean, in in order to pass out like you do, mid conversation, mid gameplay, in a chair or wherever the fuck you're sitting with a controller in your hand just to literally just be gone, that's that's like blackout drunk. You would need to be blackout drunk all the time for that to happen. <laughs> Not just like have like a, a six pack or maybe even a case of beer and then, like I, I still think there's some narcoleptic uh, type issues going on there. Yeah. It worries me when you drive. <laughs> what? My worry is that one of these days, Crimson's going to get on here and he's going to be like, hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, she, she never fell asleep in the wheel. <laughs> he will be playing with us for uh, quite some Weird. time. Weird. Funny thing is, when I was driving to South Carolina for that test, because I had to do it super early in the morning, I was fighting sleep, like, on the way down there. I'm like, oh my god, no, no, no. And granted, it's like like 6:30 in the morning, and I didn't have the good sense to go to bed before like one. But that's normal, though. <laughs> it seems to be about norm for you. And, and I didn't have any problems at all until I got to like, as soon as I dropped, uh, as soon as I got past like the kind of mountainy part, and uh, I just got to this place where that I'm coming down towards South Carolina, and <laughs> it's. it's it's like it's just straight there's nothing going on it is just straight and there's hardly any cars on the road because it's 7 o'clock in the morning for like Hello. literally probably 40 minutes of just driving straight with like nothing going on and that's you know, when I started doing like uh, this is karma for you giving me shit about the drive from North Carolina to, to, uh, to Georgia I don't have a long drive I have to go to the bathroom. Doc is having problems with the chat room, so I'll go figure that out. Uh, do I need to re-invite her? 
Wi-Fi dropped her. Yeah, I give her another invite. She should be able to rejoin. You want it in Spanish? Yeah. You so my. Other She's in it. Okay then. She's in the party. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. God. Okay. Such a headache. Did you Did you hear me the other times? No. Okay. Jeez. Have you finished prologue yet? No. Hurry up. Why? Hey, Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I don't know how to fucking turn this shit off my damn controller. Well, good. Come find me. It is in the options menu. As are most things. That's a lot of zombies, and I am not cloaked. Where at in the controls? It might be under game options, it might be under audio. It's in there somewhere, though. Okay, I think I just fixed it. If you can just get through the prologue, I'm pretty sure either any one of us can drop a couple weapons. Sweet. Oh, Actually, I, if I know I have a Marine back drop hole. stuff because they've got max level shit. But from the conversation to the pit. To the pit. Thank you for introducing me to them. Meliora is amazing, by the way. That whole album is amazing. Yeah, Who? I like I like their uh, I like their first album quite a bit. Ghost. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. I like, their, I like their first album quite a bit. Uh, their uh, Opus Eponymous. Uh, the second album is okay. I feel like it's the weakest of the bunch, but it still has some really good songs on it. And then Meliora is just oh, that's, that's one of the best. That's one of the best hard rock albums I've ever listened to. Meliora is like earth shattering. Um, it's just amazing how how many times you just feel like you're about to start listening to one band, <laughs> one of the greats, and then magically it turns into another, and then all of a sudden it becomes its own thing, as yeah, if from they're, nowhere. They're they're crazy talented. You know that first song. Um, I keep wanting to call it Sacrifice. And then maybe that is what it's a. Uh, it's no, it's Spirit. Spirit, see, I don't want to call it sacrifice. The way Spirit you know, it's starts, funny. literally, that first instrumental, instantly made me think Zeppelin. I was like, am I going to listen to Zeppelin? And then the next part of the instrumental hits, the next part of the beat, and all of a sudden it's like disturbed. I was like, wait, 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 what's going on here? That riff, the way that starts out, that dun 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 dun, it, it reminds me of kind of the pace of uh, how Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath starts out. <laughs> The, that that pace though is literally like, um, oh man, I'm gonna have to punch myself in the face for not remembering what song it is from that one. Hmm. No, nope, I'm not climbing in my own head right now. Either way, amazing. So thank you. It's an amazing album. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You're from the pinnacle to the to the pit is amazing. That song is absolutely fucking amazing. But uh, yeah, um, Deus in Absentia, the last song on the album, I'm quite fond of as well, because it's just such an interesting and different song. The way that it's just like it's got, you know, it goes and then it's got the pause and then the lyrics and it goes pause and lyrics. It's like it's like the War Pigs thing. It's like riff pause lyrics, riff pause lyrics. And it's just so cool to have the vocals stand on their own like that. It makes it so much more haunting than it already is. 
I just love the simple fact that it is, you know, and I introduced it to my uh, to my father-in-law. He's huge into rock, especially, you know, 70s, 80s. Um, 60s, I guess, 60s, 70s, 80s. And he was just, like, blown away because I was like, this is unlike anything you've heard for, like, the last four decades at least. I was like, so prepare yourself. And I was like, oh, and it's not all going to sound the same. Like, actually, not... There aren't two songs on there that really sound anything alike to me at all, anywhere on that album, which really blows my mind. Because it's one thing for, like, you know, uh, an album to be amazing and a band to be amazing, but there's there's usually a common theme, you know, throughout that album, and, you know, whether it's the way they play riffs or whether, you know, the uh, type of, you know, bass you may hear or the way the guitar may be played. There's always something that's very common. And yet, this whole album, it's all, it's... <sighs> It's like beyond unexpected because the entire thing is is different every song and, is completely different from the one and before at the it. same time they've still got their tone and and a little bit of their style to where you know if, if if when they drop a new album if somehow i hear one of their songs go on the radio which i'll have a day one anyway but if i could somehow unexpectedly hear one of their songs i would i would know it was them by uh Partially, well, partially guitar tone. That's a dead giveaway, but because nobody has that kind of tone these days. But um, it's you can still hear that they've definitely got their sound, but their sound is so diverse that nothing, no two things sound the same. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is quite amazing. I have found that I am uh, quite in love with. Uh, yeah, with you should. Band you should go album. ahead and uh, check out their other two albums. Um, I will say, Melior is definitely the best of three and i don't even feel like even their first album that i'm still really fond of is in my mind not even a close second it's but it's still really damn good music um and then uh their second album their second album what i would say is it's like good but it's with their second album i feel like they experimented around a bunch and some of it worked some of it didn't is how i'd put it which is funny is there's actually an interview with one of the band members where they said that's how they feel about it. It's just like, yeah, we tried some things, not all of it worked. Like, so here's Meliora. <laughs> it's literally the greatest piece of which, musical I mean, work that's... that's been seen by mankind for 40 or 50 years. That, that, album, is, that album is great. I love it. So I've got a question uh, for you, Krim. How mm. many landmines have you accrued? I don't even know. I have to go because in my I've got, I've got a stupid astronomical number. Like we're talking like two hundred and sixty landmines. Oh, I don't have that astronomical. I um I did use them a little bit <clears throat> at first. Yeah, I want to give a stack to Wave, but I'm just worried about what will come of that. <laughs> what could possibly come bad from giving me landmines? Oh, giving you 83 landmines? Here you go. <laughs> what possibly could go wrong? Landmine, 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 landmine. Well, can you Isn't guys set them off? It's a trail. Uh, I know we can get hurt by them. I don't know if we can necessarily step on them and set them off, but I know we can become very, very injured by them. So, are you saying that you see me doing something absolutely batshit insane, like running into the middle of you guys fighting a horde of zombies, throwing a landmine on the ground and just jockeying off like an idiot? Yeah. And maybe you shouldn't give them to me, because that's the first thing I thought of. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good thing to talk these things out and <laughs> figure out if some of these ideas are horrible ideas or not. Don't give explosives to the group troll. <laughs> Is Paige still with yeah. us? I think so. If you would hurry up, story. we can have fun. And yeah, then as soon as it says, don't worry about that. As soon as it says that you can bring somebody uh, that you can play cooperatively, and we're good to hook, you'll get lots of cool weapons that you shouldn't have that'll actually pretty much... The game has an easy mode, I think, but this is going to make it, like, stupid. Here you go. Yeah. I'm just now having a seizure on the crane. 
That's quite all right. You're uh, getting you're, there. You're, you're actually not that far. Then you should just have to no. go out and do the little, you know, find a new safe zone thing. Yeah. Go get yourself some Anison. It's really close. <laughs> but I think you I know it would. You know it would have been. You know it would have been a shit ton smarter. I could have signed in as you from my house. I just would have signed you off, uploaded your file to the cloud save. You could have downloaded it, and you'd already be good to go. You know what kind and of I just thought of that. Right and now. I just thought of that now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to punch you in the dick right now. That's good stuff. Have you uh, have you found the? Have you done the mission in the following where you have to go find the weapons? You find like three revolvers and then a sword. Have I done that? No, no, no. I'm talking to Crimson. Oh, oh well, I'm sorry. What? Have you found the three revolvers and the sword yet? There's like a mission that uh, uh -uh. they have to do in which you, you go and find three revolvers. All very, very sick. Uh uh. I, like I have a couple revolvers. But I, I haven't like done that mission. Alright, very nice. So they just put revolvers in so people can get the Rick Grimes on? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's. Um, there was one that's kind of like an old western style. All three of them are. There is the you have the you have the quick shooter, which is almost like a almost like a skull field center break. Um, and then there is the six shooter, which is pretty much what you see in every western. And then there is the ranger. Which the Ranger is kind of like the 1864 open top single action army revolver or navy revolver, I guess. Yeah. Either way. Um, so they're all older, you know. Like I said, the six shooter would probably be the most modern, and that's you know, that's clearly you know the kind of revolver that you would have seen on most people's hips, you know, back in the well most of the 1800s, especially the last 20 years of the 1800s. And then the, the quick shooter is your, your skull field center break. So they're all western type. You know, there's no, uh, I guess at one point they had both the Raging Bull um, and they had a Smith & Wesson of some type in the, in the original game. And then they took both of those out. Uh, they also had an M60 in the game. They had a uh, like a or like a mounted minigun. Uh, yeah, they had quite a few guns originally in the game that got that all got cut like mere months before it shipped. And well, this is okay. This is too easy. Yeah, well, that's what I think, too, and I mean, you don't really carry enough ammo to really make, uh, you know, to make an LMG worth it. I mean, you, you need a couple hundred rounds to make an LMG even remotely worth it, uh, and you don't carry enough rounds for that, and they would have they would have had to have accounted for that, allowed you to carry hundreds of rounds, you know, rifle-type ammo rounds, and it would have just broken the game, you know, I think the Raging Bull... That's at its at its lowest. That's a 44 caliber Magnum. Um, I think that would have been fine. I think they could have left that. I think they could have left the Smith and Wesson too um, to add some some basic revolvers to the game overall. I get why they got rid of all the machine guns though and mini guns, and that kind of crap. Because they brought a lot of guns back that they had gotten rid of in the following. So, like, instead of giving us the Raging Bull and the Smith & Wesson, they gave us three other types of revolvers, which the Ranger, which is uh, essentially, like, the uh, the open-top, single-action army or navy revolver, that's the strongest of the three. Um, I think it's loaded. It's probably loaded with, like, a 45 long colt, what my safe assumption would be. And then there are two new shotguns that are part of the following. You have the hunting shotgun, so pump-action. And then you have the semi-auto uh, shotgun, which is more like uh, like this, uh, kind of like the Spaz, I guess, but probably more modernized, more like a combat shotgun. Uh, there's two SMGs, 
So they may have gotten rid of the LMGs, but they, they did keep SMGs for the following. So you have something that looks eerily like an Uzi, and it's called the Flea, or the Nat, depending on which version of it you have. And then they have what they call the Barrel of SMG, which is more like a Tech 9. Um, and that tends to be the stronger of the two SMG classes. And a lot of those were cut from the original game. The only ones that never made it back are the LMGs. Which, apparently the following was not the end. They're apparently working on DLC as we speak. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm kind of confused story-wise where they're going to go with any kind of like expansive DLC, though. I mean, because yeah. they have to do it before. They either have to do it before the following, or they're gonna have to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know where they would place it. That's why I don't really know if we're gonna see expansive DLC. I know they're working on DLC, but I don't think it's gonna be anything like as big as the following. Because they're still there on point to do a second game. That's what they want. They just don't think they can make it work on these current consoles. Damn. <clears throat> and I think there were enough people bitching about not having choosable characters that I would bet that the second Dying Light will have. <clears throat> they'll, they'll do one of two things. They'll either allow it so you can choose a male or female, which of course changes nothing besides person who's talking. Or they'll actually do what they did with the original Dead Island, and you'll have three or four, maybe even five, I would probably say four, though, four selectable characters. That would be my safe assumption, because apparently quite a few people bitched. Because if there wasn't a female? No, because there weren't other characters to choose. It was, like, it there was wasn't a crane a, story. Well, and that's how I feel. I'm with you 100%. Like, honestly, if the second game came out and, you know, somehow Crane is still, you know, a part of the story or it's, you know, it's another single character, you know, with a, with a more expansive, you know, more expansive uh, RPG tree or trees, Mm -hmm. then I'd be just fine with that. I mean, I still think that these trees overall are pretty damn expansive. I mean, yeah, by the end you have everything, but it's still, you know, you, you play the way you want to play. You always yeah. build your character the way you want. You know, the way it works best for you. You know, there's plenty of skills that I have that I have sure as hell don't use just because it's not really how I play. And I'm fine with that. But I think that I could definitely see them adding three other characters and you know maybe keeping this maybe keeping survivor agility and power it's just going to be you know what skills you know are under there i would assume that if they did four separate characters that kind of like uh with dead island you know we all have skills that are the same but then you know all the characters have their their own unique skills under each tree and I think if they did that, that would be all right as well. So, I mean, this is the same thing. Survivor, agility, and power is just what? Fury, combat, and survival? <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. Just named differently, you know, and we all have the same shit instead of, you know, possibly having different outcomes and so on and so forth. How's it coming, Paige? I want to see it. <clears throat> Paige? What? How's it coming? <laughs> uh, I'm just now securing the first safe zone. Okay, so that's about it, actually. Yeah. Do 
stupid stamina. Don't worry, all those things will get better. Mm -hmm. to drop ranger bows like i think right that's why i have um i have a regular like blue bow that i got from the quartermaster so i kept one of those for her and i pulled out one weapon trying to figure out what else i'm pulling out here Fuck it, I've got enough money. I'm gonna go buy some shit. I think about doing it. Oh, fuck. So that should be alright. Trade. German, German pistol. That'll work. I'll be able to drop a bow, two guns, and a legendary handsaw. Because I don't have any more room in my inventory. So, you guys will need to grab some shit too. Uh, I've got some stuff from my world that will definitely be not as good as what you're going to drop, but far better than anything that's going to drop in Paige's world. Yeah, honestly, you could. <laughs> we could drop like if we the had if we had weapons ever from our world. Yeah. <laughs> I was even gonna say not even from our worlds as they are, but like if we, if each of us had shit in our stashes, like weapon, like melee weapon wise, from I don't know, from fifteen or twenty hours ago, like even weapons that are like in the four hundreds, five hundreds, shit like that would still be astronomical in her world. Like, yeah, absolutely the... unstoppable astronomical kind of thing. Yeah, remember whenever you found out 200 damage weapon, you were like, oh! <laughs> I remember when, I still remember when Krim dropped, like, two weapons per piece for you and I. And they were in the 200s. And I was like, holy shit, I can't use these right now. <laughs> I have to just mod these and make them the best and save them. Because that was still in a time when, you know, if you found a weapon that was, like, in its 70s or 80s, that was good. Because you could mod it and probably get it in into the hun the low hundreds, and it what it really wasn't until we went to the pit. That was where I remember we were both kind of uh, me more than you, very pissed off because I wanted to know where my inventory went because I had like I had like one or two weapons that had just reached the thousand mark, and I thought. After the pit, we didn't have any of our shit, and I thought, like, it could possibly be gone. Both of us were starting to think that. And I was getting pissed because I had two weapons that were, like, a thousand damage. Yeah, because it puts it all in your stash, but it doesn't tell you that it did that. Nope. You have to listen to that guy when you first wake up and walk out of that Connex. Because if you don't listen to that guy telling you, oh, all your gear is in, your, in the stash, like, you, you would walk right by that and never know. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
Although I am all I am all for a game rewarding some attention to detail because all too often people don't pay attention to what the hell they're doing. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I I, I do kind of miss that thing in gaming where it's like you know a conversation with you know a random person in a random town at some part in the game might give you the hint you need like eight hours later in gameplay like yeah i mean that's oh, silly man. shit but i was uh no that's really good though because i've been playing the witcher recently because i didn't know <laughs> you guys disappeared and i didn't know where you went so i was like well i'm gonna play the witcher for a while um and i i recently started the witcher over and there was one of those instances where like i completed an objective i completed a contract and i went back to the guy told him i'd kill you know i destroyed the specter blah 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 and I mentioned the the specter's name, like who the the woman's name was before she died. And he was like, "No, I don't know her." He's like, "But I bet that I bet that herbalist that lives down the road, she might know her." And if you weren't paying attention, so I was I was listening to that, and I was like, "Huh." So I went back to her, and lo and behold, I got more experience and I got some items because I went and told, you know, this herbalist that you know your friend, you know because clearly they were friends in the end you know clearly you know your friend's dead i'm sorry and if you hadn't been it's one of those things that you were just talking about where if you weren't paying attention to what that guy was saying or you just skipped past the conversation you would have never known to go back to go back to that lady go find that hut and find that lady and tell her about her friend shit like that so i agree completely yeah, I like when a the game rewards you for paying attention that's the way, uh, man, I still think, like, I love all the Elder Scrolls games. They are amazing feats unto their own. But I think overall, for, an, for a game in its entirety, The Witcher 3 beats out Elder Scrolls. In, in my eyes, hands down, beats down Elder Scrolls. There are things that Elder Scrolls does, you know, probably a bit better in terms of, like, character customization. Like, you know, you're playing, in The Witcher, you're playing as Geralt. You're playing as the Witcher. You know, you can change his armor out, and you can change his gear, and you can build armor and build weapons, you know, but he always carries two swords, one silver, one steel. Um, you know, you can give him an axe and shit like that. Okay. You know, and there's only so much you can do with, you know, he's got plenty of skill trees, but it's not like Elder Scrolls in the sense of it's like, build whatever the fuck you want literally make whatever kind of character your heart desires you know that's where elder Scrolls wins but in terms of like a a fully realized world with absolutely astronomically gorgeous graphics an amazing story amazing characters um and a very dark very very gritty very down to earth you know story and characters witcher just wins out if you haven't played it, man, you're doing yourself a fucking grave disservice. Especially if I you like RPGs. I, I, have heard, I haven't heard... That's one of those things, like... I haven't heard a bad review for The rich, for the Witcher. That's <laughs> that's the thing. I, I haven't heard any. I haven't heard anyone be like, oh, it's only okay. I haven't heard anyone say it sucks. Like, everyone I know who's played it loved it. Yeah, and it, I mean, there's a reason it got Game of the Year from almost everybody in the gaming industry. Um... So, it's, that, it's and that's achieving. a telltale because really, game of the year doesn't mean what it used to when they slap it on a box now. Because odds are, you know, you know, Billy Bob's Gaming Magazine is going to name some game. <laughs> there. Yeah, I don't care about this. <laughs> that was their, their game I, of I the year because. What I mean is, it's just like any game, like game of the year, and then like you read the fine print, it's like on Billy's blog, you know, it's like. <laughs> on Billy's blog. Now this one is Game of the Year with over 200 awards won. <laughs> it's it's like the kind of shit where like very few games even come remotely close to the almost perfection that this game is. And now, I mean, if you were to play The Witcher now, and I would still wait, honestly. If I were you, I'd wait for a definitive edition because there will be one. Because um, they just released the absolute last piece of DLC, which is it's got an additional 
20 to 30 hours of story, an additional 90 side quests, um, an additional 100 <laughs> pieces of so armor, much. I think 50 or Thank 60 you weapons, so much. Um, a whole new uh, leveling sit, like a whole new RB, RPG system called Mutations, which one day when you finally play The Witcher, you'll process. know what I'm talking about. Um, like all of their major DLCs have added something substantial to this game. And the game is already massive. I mean, to beat the main game, none of the DLC, put all that shit to the side, just to beat the main game in its entirety, to do everything would take you over 200 hours. Easy. Easy. And yet they've added, you know, two massive DLCs, expansions, I guess, more or less, as they would be known, that add 50 hours worth of story between the two of them. And then... <laughs> probably another 50 to 100 hours worth of side quests and shit to do. And then when you add in all the other DLC that adds little, you know, contract missions here or there, or hunt missions here or there, you know, new armor and weapons to acquire and find, because this is one of those games where if you want something, you better go find it. <laughs> like, instead of the DLC, we're like, oh, you bought this? Okay, it'll be in your stash, or it'll be in your inventory when you start the game. Not in The Witcher. They're like, you better go fucking find it. You want that weapon, you better go find out who's selling her or where the hell it's hiding. Alright, I'll be right back. You're good. How you doing, Doc? <sighs> I'm getting there. What does it have you doing now? Um, getting on the light poles. To do the light things. Oh, uh, to, to get everything ready for Brecken's run? Yeah. Oh, Crimson, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Cool little thing. That whole... And maybe, I don't know how much of it you remember from the... Because this is all beginning Dying Light story, but... Everything that she's doing right now is so Brecken and his runners can go get a... Uh, to go get an airdrop. Do you remember that part of the story? Yeah. Well, when it, whenever you get a chance, uh, go on YouTube and look up the uh, Run Boy Run... Uh, Dying Light trailer, and that trailer is actually that mission that Brecken goes on. So you find out, like, through that trailer, you find out how Brecken got that head wound and how he lost his whole team. Yeah. Lavender. Oh, I can smell it already. This is really going to raise our quality of life. Not as much as killing all the zombies would, but it's a start. Feels like I'm jumping 50 feet to get to these damn lights. You can do it. Don't die. This was why I thought y'all were gonna play for a little while without me, because it's taking me forever. Well, we're all kind of fucking off in our own right. I uh, don't even see Joel right. on his. And besides, Crimson beat this way before any of us even came close to beating this, so... If anything, we're... You know, Crimson's always kind of coming back to fuck around and do shit that he's already done. I want that level 100. Yeah, that would get them legendary ranks. Although once we beat it, then we can go into new game and go into hard mode. That'll help with the uh, experience a little bit.
Also, I think I saw that anytime you join somebody or somebody joins you, there's always like a pop-up. And I think it's saying that essentially the more people that you're playing with, the more experience you gain for your legendary I'm rank. I'm back. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, when we join up, keep an eye out for it. There should be like something that pops up and tells you, I think, that you're gaining more experience for the more people you have in your group. Hmm. That's cool. Uh, are we almost ready to do that? Or are you still like, you know, prologuing it up? With that big ass zombie with the orange jumpsuit. Okay, so you're almost done. You're not you even on. like 20 minutes ago. Oh! Uh, aren't what? we joining your world? Huh? Mine? Yeah, yours, John. No, because I'm so far ahead of her, she won't know what the shit's going on. Alright. Be all good. This is why I save all this crap in my fucking... ...dash. <laughs> Instead of running like bitches in that first night, we just like walk around killing the volatiles. <laughs> <laughs> Just let her run. <laughs> yeah, you run. We're just gonna, we're just gonna murder them. We're we're gonna hold up here and pull out the guns we never use. I'm gonna fucking die, guys. Don't do that. It'll make shit take longer. I don't want them. I just can't reach this dude unless I'm right in front of him. And shortly after attacking him, you need to move. Yeah, do a, uh, by now you should have the ability to use, uh, if you hold back and hit R1 or left or right, you should kind of jump to the left, jump to the right, or jump back. That's your best friend in this fight. Let him swing, get in there, maybe hit him twice at most, and then do the leap back. And just rinse and repeat. Because you can't break his arms. This is uh, not Dead Island. You cut him off, but I'm pretty sure you don't I'm have a machete. I'm not even in front of him, and it hurts me. Yeah, he's got some force off of that. That's why I say using that leap back ability that you can do with R1 and the stick is your best friend. But if you can oh, kind of time that and leap back when he swings, you can uh, avoid that shock damage. Or force damage, I guess it would actually probably be. Does it actually tell you the health of them? Uh, yeah, it should mm. be... Uh... Wait a minute. Nope. No, it doesn't. Nope, this game does not have health bars on enemies. That's right. I'm thinking that I am here. No, you're just gonna have to you have to guess. Did you die? Yes, he stomped on some fucking gas tanks or something. And it exploded me. That's alright. They should they should bring you back to life somewhere close to that area. If you have a bunch of weapons um, in your inventory, and I'm assuming at this point you probably have a handful, it may not be a bad idea to try to... Oh wait, you can't throw weapons like that. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. Fucking thinking Dead Island. Damn it. You can you can throw your your melee weapons in this game too, but you have to have a skill off of one of the skill trees. In order to do so. Well, now I want to find my way back to the dude. The button doesn't work in the slums. The button. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what button? Yep. I didn't think it was. I Apparently, if you use it in the following, 
at one point you're going to end up in um, you're going to end up in like a in, in like a warehouse type building where it looks like they were shooting a video and it's one of the uh, it's I guess like the rarer of the secret areas that that button will take you to in the countryside and it's only taking me to one place I did it tw I only did it twice though Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you just gotta keep, wait for it to recharge, and then hit it again. Is that talking, Tom? Yep. Aiden wants that too. better this game is uh this game is meant to be very very difficult when you first start it makes you very grateful for all the shit you get later you're like hey you remember when i used to have to worry about things yeah it's uh the game is meant to be very very difficult in your first few hours you're gonna have shit weapons that break all the fucking time um, except you're not <laughs> well, yeah, except you <laughs> won't. <Oops. laughs> We're gonna kind of kill that part. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, I'm looking for the saviors. Uh, don't know what you're no, talking about. He's already I'm sounding a bit irritated from the tower. anyway, so. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here, or I'll stop Maybe the prologue, maybe the reason they don't let you join you is you at least have to experience the shit Jade. weapons that break easy for I a little while. Get the hell out of here. You have experience yeah, what the game is supposed to be. I could rise up, and now his whole goddamn gang is yeah, after me. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Experience what the game is supposed you? to be before your friends come you in and fucking help you gang rape it. Yeah. And now I have to get the sector so zero. So I just cut a dude What's in half, name? but Crane. the game, like, well, graphically glitched, and every part of his body zero, we'll uh, you went with him except his hair. The what hair is just floating here. All graphically glitched above his severed torso. Hmm. Pretty neat looking. Just, a, just a toupee. That's all that's left yeah, behind. Pr pretty hey. much. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Come here. Okay. We'll get you to the other side. Mm. Right when? Right now. What about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapse oh, tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. He hit the fucking thing and it exploded again. Why don't you throw it at him and then throw one of your weapons at it? She can't. She's not gonna be able to oh, throw one of her weapons. Oh shit, that ability's not there yet. 
Yep, that's an ability, and she doesn't have it. And can you like hit it, and it'll like hiss, and you can run away? Yeah, she can do that. It can yeah, do throw that? it at him, run up, hit that thing, and run away. I can't throw anything. No, you can don't. throw. You can throw the. You can throw the the metal container. Not the big one. Not probably the one she's talking about. Because there are the smaller ones, like the uh, like the ones you'd have for a grill. But what she, I almost guarantee she's talking about one of the red barrels. That he keeps hitting one of the red barrels with the force off of his weapon. Oh, well, there's a, the, that pro, the, the, there's, there's a couple of those propane Price's things around, really and that's something. how I killed him, was with, by hitting the propane is things and running away. Dynamite is gold. We could cook you up something well, special with her. Kurt's a natural when it comes to this really? stuff. Alright, one pack for you, the rest for me. Kurt will figure out how to give it some oomph. We'll be in touch. Damn, these weapons are pretty good. Damn. Well, that would have been helpful if he was standing beside them. Well, I'm down to only having a story quest to do now. I think that's where I think that's where we both left off, is it not? Yep. Public face, I did right? The, uh, yeah, I did the uh yeah, public face and I did the uh so, fan I quest. Yep, I, I did that too. So as soon as I heard Perhaps that dude's voice, I was like, this sounds summons. like a trap. I was Good. like, there is not a, enough urgency in this guy's voice. He's difficult. very specific about what he'll give so you. I was like, none of this sounds like you a survivor. Must be <laughs> Who's in witch. trouble? This sounds like a trap. I killed him with a rice gun. Yeah, I shot him in the face, too. <clears throat> yeah, I was just like waiting on him to walk around. Like, I was just like moving around, you know, keeping the thing about where chest level will be, because I know it's a three shot burst gun. So he comes walking around and just like, but it, but it, but it, you know, it's kicking up where like bullets two and three are going in his face. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, uh. I was very happy to kill him, because when you first walk in there, I was like, mm, yeah, this is a trap. <laughs> this is either a trap or everybody died, but this seems like a trap. I walk in the door, I'm like, huh, there's women and children here. Huh, okay, well, all I see is a whole bunch of corpses. Um, and some of them don't look zombified. Um, That's what kept confusing okay. me, too, because I was like, if this isn't a trap, where are the zombies? Because all these bodies look, you know, fresh-ish. None of them look corpse-ish. Oh yeah, I knew that was going to be a trap. There, there was no way it wasn't. It was really his voice. The first time I heard that voice, <laughs> I was like, you don't sound like you're in trouble. You sound like you're just fine. You actually sound kind of spooky. And lo and fucking behold. I suck at this game. Just so everybody in the world knows. Get, you okay. get better. We don't. You get better. It gets better. Yeah, you see, the game gets easier as you go because you start to gain abilities. I mean, you gain the ability to throw weapons. You get better at running away. You uh, you get a grappling hook that makes escaping a cinch. Well, once you get used to the grappling hook, you'll you'll kill yourself with it a few times first. Yeah, it's like a rite of passage. I'm pretty sure you have to. Yeah, it's just like it really is like a rite of passage. It's like you're gonna take a certain number of deaths at your own hand trying to learn to use this thing. However, afterward, it's gonna be a very useful tool for you. It is fucking awesome. But until then, <laughs> uh, yeah. And even then, you still fall off roofs. Gonna yeah, every now and then. You know, for whatever reason, the character's not gonna grab the ledge, even though you're looking straight at it. And you're holding R1. Refuse. Yeah, you're still gonna refuse to grab it, and you're still gonna fall, and break your fucking legs, and die. Horrible, horrible death.
How about you, Krim? Still dying? Mm, not lately. Nah, pretty good lately, huh? Yeah. At first, Jank was reluctant to even talk to me. But after I mentioned what I did to Rice, the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. When we first when we first join her game, we gotta remember we have an endless day to work with at first. Mm, that's right. I I've quite forgotten that. Yeah, it'll give her a good chance to work up supplies and shit that she'll need. Everything going to shit over there still, Paige? Yeah. It happens. I beat it the last time and it seemed pretty easy and I don't know why it's being so hard right now. Well, I would just, I would venture to guess that a part of you may be trying to rush it. That's probably true. Look, Dad, it's Mr. Crane! Well, well. Small world. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but this isn't. It's not. Crane, we've okay. got take the your rule. time. Take Everybody your time killing him. Their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you the don't get you rush. You're pretty much I'm literally die. done with the prologue, like okay. From minutes on, after he's dead. Yeah. We need the more you rush, and the more you die. The more you're gonna have to. First. Take the time to get back to him. We've been here for hours. Gonna take you. I don't make the rules. Right here. Oh shit! I totally just found a way around having to kill her. <laughs> well, that'll work too. <laughs> I didn't expect it. But I just went into the building. And that was that. Well, whatever works. <laughs> Game about survival. Found a way to win. I would just feel dumb. I should have done that first. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about it either. I mean, because, you know, I killed him. Not trying to toot your own horn or nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't think I would consider it bragging to say I killed one goon. Back in the beginning, with a fucking pipe, a piece of wood, or a wrench at best, maybe. I mean, he did some. He did some damage when I fought him because those two tanks didn't finish him. But. And I, I did get impatient, and I started getting greedy. I did not use the uh, explosives. Probably would have been a lot easier that way, but... I think I made it. Alright, you did it. It'll give you an it'll give you some options to like set your multiplayer stuff. You're gonna wanna turn invasions off. In session options? Although, <laughs> although the three of us are going to have to do that at some point, we're all going to have to be each other's zombie because there are 
there are, um, first off, I'm pretty sure there's a trophy for it, for either killing the invader or being the invader. And at the same time, there is also, uh, there's a blueprint that we're not going to get until you've killed an invader. You have to win against the invader. So there's a blueprint, and, it, and it's, it's a legendary of some sort, whether it's a developer blueprint or whatever. Um, so we're going to... Uh, so Mm -hmm. Okay. Which apparently the invader is a lot of fun. I watched a little bit of gameplay for it. Looked uh, pretty fucking crazy. Pretty cray. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy, and the invader is fucking way overpowered. Super <laughs> fucking overpowered. Especially if you, as the survivors, don't have... It seems like if you have the UV me, flashlight, which I to we all know you get pretty soon, the but decided to give me a hand. if you have the UV flashlight, it seems to, to, zero. to even the, the playing field a little bit. Wait a minute, so if we just invade each other, then we can literally just stand there while the other kills the invader and just get it like that? Yeah. Yeah. I watched two guys where they ran around as the both the survivor and the invader. Hmm. And he was just like running around because you you can also it's also a way of getting good equipment and weapons like really good equipment and weapons mm -hmm. um apparently it's one of the ways in which you can get um the gold weapons mm. and the way the way the survivor wins is to kill all the nests so like when an invader invades you there are going to be a certain number of nests in in you know a certain area and all the survivor has to do is destroy all those nests because it doesn't matter how many times you kill the invader because the invader will just respawn in one of those nests okay so that's why that's the survivor's goal is to destroy the nests and the and the invader's role is to well kill all the survivors and he's got all kinds of really unfair fucking abilities and ways to do that well, you're because he's essentially yeah, you you are, um, but you're a different type. Like you have, okay, so like the survivors, as the survivors, we have our grappling hook. Well, fucking the the invader, the volatile, whatever, or what's known as the night hunter. The night hunter has tendrils that it can launch, almost like, a, and I'm sure Wei will probably be with me on this one. Maybe you too, Crimson. It's kind of like Omega Reds, like whips that come out of his arms. Something like that. Like he has these tendrils that he can shoot out of his uh, of his arms and it helps him like Spider-Man around the map. So he can move um, so really quick. <laughs> um, and then he's got an ability where if he can... He like wraps those tendrils around like your throat and around your arms so you can't move and it's a one hit kill. Like if he gets you like that, you're dead. That's all there is to it. Well Paige, get somewhere and I have some stuff to drop for you. Yeah, we gotta let's, let's just uh let's just jump the fence back to this safe zone. We got shit to drop too. I do too. I am in uh your stash is here if you want to store any of it, so... Uh, let's find a place that doesn't look like garbage so you don't mistakenly... I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them right next to the stash. I That's probably not a bad can... idea. Inside the building's not a bad idea. Is that a sword? Yeah, there's... a couple of swords there, actually. Machete... Um... Oh, the the stuff they're gonna drop is gonna be better than the stuff I just dropped. Spin it 
There's one more dock if you turn around. One of the weapons is kind of in the floor. Yeah, and I dropped... I don't know if you, you may already have them or not, but I dropped a few things like right beside the stash bag. Do you see the item I'm talking about, Doc? Yeah, I've got to empty some stuff. Alright. <clears throat> Are we competing in anything? No. No, we can, but we uh, we are currently not. Oh yeah. <laughs> I weapon a bit better. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, they're catching on fire. These, uh, these fridges that we can open, that say, uh, jump drink on them, this is an ode back to Dead Island, because Dead Island has drink machines that have jump drink on them. Literally the same color, same, um, same illustration, like everything. I wonder if that's confirmation that it really is the same universe. I'm stu that's what I started thinking, because when I saw that in Dead Island, I was like, wait a minute. The soda machine There's some debate about like, that, about whether it's the same universe or not. I really... that made me think that it is, because it's not just like, you know, if they had like a... maybe a poster that said, who do you voodoo, bitch, or something like that, maybe that's just an easter egg, but... Like, these are the same... the same machines. With the same logo, spelled the same, written the way, same way, with the same colors, and... I mean, nothing Zombies about it is different. Mutations. Yeah. The only thing is the virus is different, where for Dead Island, I don't know if you've got far enough, it's based on a, uh, a fungus that lives on the island. Um, but for uh, this game, it's related to rabies. Yeah, I haven't gotten... I knew that it was something out of the jungle, but it came from somewhere in the jungle. So if it's like a, a fungi, then that means it's they didn't steal it, so to say. Good night, girls. Um, but it sounds kind a lot like stealing it from themselves. Kind of like the uh, well, yeah, because they started it. Actually, I guess the Last of Us would have stolen it from them because that's the whole. That's what. That's what the Last of Us shit is. Is it's it's fungal. It's related to like cordyceps. Which is hilarious because one of the supplements I take is a quarter steps. Oh, good. When you turn into a clicker, I'll. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Yeah, it's, make it's sure not, you don't hurt It's not a live culture. The statue where I am. <laughs> where you at? Oh, that's a statue we missed. <laughs> See, you're the you're the orange arrow on my screen. Orange. I'm blue. Yeah, we're all blue on our own screens. Mm, no, I'm orange on mine. No, oh, okay. he's orange. I'm like a turquoise or something. I'm like a, I'm kind of like a light blue. I'm like a pale blue. <clears throat> yeah, you're the same color. Oh, the same color. Mm -hmm. oh, the, the statue. The statue this way. Okay, I'm there. the pale blue. Reaper's the kind of white color. Page is like the. I'm gonna call it blurple. It's like between blue and purple. Blurple. Is a douchey place to put it. Blurple. It's like between blue and purple. 
I think it's kinda gay. Why are you calling me gay now? Cause I said purple? Oh. Yep. It's are we gonna go to that dot? What's up? Is that where we're Are we headed towards that dot or are we staying in? At this moment, we've been, we're kind of looking for some supplies and... Oh, because shit. right now, right now in your game, this is your game, your world. The day and night cycle has not taken effect. So it's going to be very rare for you to see virals, which are going to be fast runners. They're going to be the ones that can run and climb. Um, it'll be very rare for you to see them. Like, we will have to blow a bunch of shit up and make them come to us. And even then, they may not come. Um, and there's no day and night cycle right now, so you don't have to worry about what time is it, so on and so forth, because none of that matters right now. So this is kind of the best time to, if you have any side missions, to knock your side missions out, any that you may have, and to um, find as many supplies as you can. Uh, because again, we don't have to worry about night right now. Because once we have to worry about night, of course yeah, it's are. not really much of a worry, but... Oh shit, what's that? That's a viral. I thought you said we didn't have those yet. Well, well I mean, we'd, have, we'd have to make them guns come. Near. <laughs> that's how you make them come. <laughs> you make loud noises, that's what draws virals. Um, and there's no reason things would just be randomly exploding or anything like that. Yeah, because you usually would not have any guns and or ammo right now. There is a place that you can find a gun, uh, but I gave you a better pistol anyway. I gave you like one of the best pistols in the game. And it's not like there's anybody in this party that randomly blows up everything he sees that explodes, so you should be okay. Hmm. What he meant to say is there is somebody in this party who, that because we are such low level now, <laughs> is going to blow up everything he sees. Although, the, the three of us are not low level. No, no, no. No, we are in a low level world. <laughs> with you are pretty much playing with a bunch of legendary ranked players, because I'm pretty sure we're all legendary ranked now. Yep. And the funny and the funny thing is, I don't view the virus coming in as a threat. I view them as free experience points. Oh, then I have a grenade I need to use then. Do I need to get inside that now? You want to go inside every place that you can, and uh, don't forget don't forget to hold X to use your survivor sense to find items that may be around you, and so on and so forth. Just an easy way for you to know what is what is around you. That guy had no arms. Why are you guys messing with that one? <laughs> I just saw a zombie walking around with no arms, which, um... I didn't do it. <laughs> I just assumed, say, for one of you, <laughs> cut his arms off and then ran away. <laughs> this is I really didn't do it. With no arms. I mean, it's something I would do, but I, I didn't Alright. If we can get into one spot, I have a whole bunch of uh, runners coming at us. Okay, where you at? He's right here. On top of this car. It was on top of the car. Right now. Advertisement. This is what this grenade's <laughs> supposed to do. <laughs> False advertisement. What is the virals? Oh. I didn't even see them. What am I thinking of them? Hang on. I'm thinking of something else. Let me look at my thing. John. What? You stole my kill. Oh yeah, it's imperative that she is the one who kills most of all this stuff. You don't pass that. I don't know. I could have sworn that thing spawned uh, virals, because each time I've used it, like a shit ton would come. Well, it could be because we're in a world that has few virals to spawn. Because <clears throat> yeah, you hear them screaming, so I mean, it, it worked in the sense that it should be bringing them, but... I said that all players... 
need to be. Just, when that when it says it that, just wait by that person, and everybody can fast travel to you. Great. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. Good job, four trains. Use a UV flashlight and a remote control. <laughs> what are we, uh, quadruplets? <laughs> that's, that's what it is. I, I, I identical the gold quadruplets. With that remote. You got it? Uh, identical got it. quadruplets. Jesus Perfect. Christ, you'd want to fucking... <laughs> you know, like, give now kids away. News. Here you go. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to we should try that invasion tower. thing, Jay see if we can all the scouts in, and that means get some you. gold weapons from it. Well, if... If her game is open, then I should be able to to open to friends, right? Is that how yours is set, Doc? Yep. Yep. Alright, well I'm gonna drop out and then I'm gonna try to invade this game that you three are in. Okay. You won't be able to, I think, because it's bright it's broad daylight. Mm, once you're past yeah. the uh that shouldn't have anything to do with it. It'll automatically like make it night. As long as co-op is available, you should be able to be invaded because she had to change her thing so she couldn't be invaded. But we'll see. Maybe. I'll see if I can invade. If I can't, then yeah, we have to get her to the point where it can be nighttime. Do I need to make it to where you can invade first? Um... Well, I'm a friend though, so I should just be able to invade you whether you want to be invaded by me or not, but maybe... Unless it's set to private. It's not. Let me see. Otherwise, we play. all joined without invites. Be the zombie. Um, creating game. Let's see what this does. I don't, know, I don't even know what this is doing here. Be the zombie lobby. I'm only visible by friends anyways, so I could probably turn it on anyways. And I could turn it to any time instead of night time. Well, let me, I'm getting into this lobby here. Okay. Wait, I'm in the tutorial. What the hell is this? Oh, I'm making this tour. Hunter's Playground. In this location, you can test the various skills and abilities of the hunter. You will learn new skills as you gain experience. Oh, so this thing levels up too, like our characters. See the skills menu for more details. Continue to each marker. Blah, blah. So there's like a tutorial you have to do. Holy fuck, this thing can jump. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. This thing is fast on the roof. I just grab one that you don't have. <laughs> Tendril locomotion. Yeah, this thing is fast and can fucking jump. I found some plastic. Yay. <laughs> Laughing and plastic. Cool, it's fantastic. <laughs> sure can <laughs> Don't ever sing that song. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. The hunter's howl can be used to track your prey. Why am I calling people? Crane here. The part's the story of the game. I'm about to have a meeting with the oh, tower's okay. leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. So I'm not even gonna lie, I straight up forgot to start streaming. Ugh. <laughs> did, did you remember to, John, at least? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start now. <laughs> Cause why not? I need, I need to and I stopped because, you know, we weren't doing anything, I was just sticking around in my world. 
Shit, and I forgot to start it back again. Where the hell are y'all? Inside. In your butt. Just, just, just hold the touchpad down and do the fast travel thingy. You can beat up other zombies and shit. Oh, uh, hold on. You can't seem to kill them, though. Reckon's mission failed. Which is sad. Jake called the meeting in the tower. It's my yeah, you can't kill the. I mean, I was just beating the fuck out of that thing, and it didn't die. I can craft a new item. Hard to decide, isn't it? There he is. Best runner in the zone. Shit. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to Biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the Whole bunch of screen. Convincing them the world's not over yet. So if I can invade games now. Let's see how this works. Maybe... One more try before we go to Rice. It says I can invade games yeah. now, so I'm okay. Fine towards these. Good luck, Red Crane. spots on the map, because I'm assuming those are people's games. Oh, uh, uh, we're at the tower. A moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Okay, so I can't look at a map. Look, he took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any loader tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out oh, weeks ago. Matchmaking. Yes, that's what right. What are you doing here? How do you All know these are that? nests. Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? I, uh, There's a man right. in town named Gaz. So matchmaking. He's not altogether there. Go to that menu. You know what I mean. Find games. His mother had epilepsy, mm. so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She mm. died. Two years ago, Searching but Gazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Gazi can be very insistent. So they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? I don't see your he game hasn't. on here. So I you don't might know have to open it up. We're going to get it from. Gazi lives under the or overpass. Or get to where we can get and the night time. his mother's death. He won't understand. To do the public? Uh, it'll be under some variety of settings that are actually related to invasion themselves. Oh, so it's not in session options? The, well, yeah, it'll it be, be it should be under there. Yeah, and there should be an option to allow invasions. 
So it just says gain visibility, which I can put to public if I need to. Um, allow human co-ops, and that's on. And zombie invasion is in time. Alright, well, we have to get to night time then. I don't know. Let me refresh this. Let me refresh this. Otherwise, yeah, I think. Daoud must still have a lot of things in that bunch of This motherfucker's been invaded. So it's cool though, because in, from in here I can see like yeah, sure who's, who's being invaded, and so on and so forth. Ah, God, I hate the part the first where there's people who don't get quests, but they still have you know the little exclamation mark. Like I'm yeah. supposed to talk to this person, even though I have zero <laughs> concern for what they have to say. Yeah, you may need it to be nighttime, because even these ones that are like in the slums. Somebody's on extraction. I don't even remember where that is. When that is. Good job out there, 31. Somebody's in the bright mountain tunnel. I mean, crane, right? Pretty far. Alright. Well. Wait a minute, mate. Hey, do you have spare keys for 202? Well, what's the problem? Oh, what the Something's hell? going on in there. The door's locked from inside. I just... Hmm. Well, let's do this airdrop thing so we can get to night time. Let's, uh, let's, let's keep doing the, uh, let's go ahead and grab everything we can grab while we're here. And just, just so we don't have to do the, the quest roundup again. What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Oh man, I was hoping I could invade you from right there. Oh. But here, you in here? Help me! Yeah, fa fast travel up to us, because otherwise we'll have to run all the way back to the top. Yeah, Tell me what's wrong. Are you turning? Uh, what you took is junk. It's first death. Yeah. Then tell me who sold Kale. Yusuf! What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was doo -doo -doo. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <laughs> Safest place in the slums, maybe. But the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? <laughs> I can't tell you the details, but... I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Yeah, the gun and the key is yours, yeah. as well as everything you find there. Can't have my gun, bitch. Should I hold up? Yeah, yeah, t I'm, not, I'm not giving him racist gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you a one of a kind. <laughs> it just can't do it. <laughs> Turn fast travel, you guys. What the hell? You better have a look at this. 
The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21, now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner, the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. All the way up top again. Run in circles. I'll stay down here. Cause I think we have to come back and talk to her. Yeah, you have to fast travel us to progress this anyway. Yeah, fuck. Well, I'm down here, so I'll fast travel when you're there. Damn it! Quit canceling the fast travel opportunity. Whoever's doing that. Yusuf. <laughs> Welcome to Yusuf's. Yeah, I'm looking. No, you can hear. Which? Oh, which? They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. His name is Bento. Bento. His name is Bento. Oh no, I'm not giving him a pistol. Oh shit. <laughs> you well, I just lost gun. racist gun because as soon as I fast traveled, I hit square and didn't realize it. Oh, Fuck. Oh god. I'll you get it again on your game plus. Game. I don't care. God damn it. I knew, I knew as soon as you were like, oh, because I, I was right by his door and I was like, oh, he wants a gun? Nope, I'm out of here. And I left. <laughs> and then uh, you uh, were growling. Oh, my God. You know what? That's okay. I was thinking before this that the German composite pistol was actually better anyway. So. No, I think it's pretty... Damage per second. Rice's gun is better. Who do I need to go to right now? It is, but it chews through your ammo so quick. Because it keeps telling me to fast travel. In fast travel. Don't you still have the golden <laughs> German pistol that I gave I you? I do. I do. That's I... better than the composite. Damage wise. It'll be better yeah, than I the composite. Do. I, I do. I, do. I said the wrong thing we... when I said composite. Is everyone I, I here? Ran my stash and got, I ran to my stash and got my pistol because that pissed me off. Yeah, I almost Most of the runners I out of almost hit square when I saw one. To take their place. And I was like, gun. That means me. They went, no. Oh, you're going to try to take, take my gun. Drop, right before yeah, sunset. I literally just gave him Jade will be showing me the ropes. Hell. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. You barely use them. I mean, guns Well, he shouldn't die now. He should be able to survive. Yeah. He's probably still gonna die and take that stupid gun with him because he's, you know, putts. They're probably like, oh god, zombie, let me spray all my rounds in eight different directions, none of which are the direction the zombie's in. <laughs> Sometimes I feel Panic. Like it's the enemy of survival. <laughs> yep. Where's my sash? Why is my stash not here? Electric fence. Um, I don't think you get a stash down here for a little while. Okay. Let's go get this airdrop over with. Damn, I'm so salty about seeing that damn gun. No, you I didn't, didn't even sell, sell it. it. <laughs> you didn't even sell it. it. You just gave it to I just gave it to a character that I don't even <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, I'm so salty about selling the gun. You didn't even sell it. Yeah, I didn't even get, you know, 200 bucks out of it or whatever the game would have given me. 
<laughs> oh no, right? Rice is done? Man. You probably could have sold that for. And he's definitely that might have been the best man. thing you could have sold in the, the game so far. Is this war of course, basically. we never get what we should get for the shit rice. we sell. So, he's hoarding we might have, have actually gotten a couple grand for that. I'm on a mission right. to get antsin from the airdrop. We got hard if mode succeed, new game they'll plus. Have to come up with I'll get a better else. one. Which is true. It'll have better. It'll have. Well, no, guns don't level with you, but still, I'll get it. No, they can though, because you'll be higher legendary rank by the time all that happens. And seeing as you can respec at any time, you could always respec some points into your pistol, and then it actually would be better by the time you got there. And actually, yeah, and actually, by the time uh, we'll get to that mission in her game, and uh, since I don't have it, it'll probably drop for me a second time. Go ahead. That's true. Actually, yeah, I'll bet. It'll here. definitely give it to you. More than likely, we're all gonna end up getting another one. Alright, understood. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Find some shelter and wait. Find some shelter and Most wait. Of the drop seem to fall exactly, exactly in that area. Oh, I remember <laughs> this. What the hell, Krim wanted to bash him. <laughs> Let me bash him. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Holy shit, I'm getting Survivor XD for all these missions that I've already done once. Yep. Oh yeah, we're still gonna get experience for him. By the way, I'm already up here at the thing because grappling hooks make everything so much easier. Yep. <laughs> you guys remember having to climb? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Medium lockbox where I am. Oh my god. What's up, Paige? Nothing. Well, never mind then. Just <clears throat> trying to uh, figure it out. It's fast travel. Oh. There's always that. Damn it. Nothing here. I think this is the fourth time I've done this mission. One, two... Yeah, two That's the fourth. <coughs> it should be your third. Um, oh, yeah. Because you did it on your own. Yeah. You did it with uh, Wei and I. Now this should be. Well, I have a new game plus. Oh, alright, well, never mind. Four times it is. Mine? Find the second one. Look Don't the fight him. Right. Right. Should be close by. Fucking runners. DIY grenades, I'll take those. There's some ammo in here. Something you're definitely gonna want. Doc. Dick. Stay right here. I'll be right back. I'm right by the box. Oh, shit. By the way. So. 
bomb. No, I'm in a safe zone by the bomb. No, like I, I. Dude, I'm almost there. I can do this. Jeans, you're still decked out all military looking. Crimson's got his t shirt. Jeans. Ah, my bad, my good job. Now, where, where do I need to go? To the next circle. Oh, okay. Are we all going? We have to. But we can fast travel. Except Reaper. Holding shit up. How dare he? That's my job. <laughs> so are we running straight back to the tower or are we killing stuff? I feel like killing a couple of volatiles. If you can. I am pretty sure with the weaponry we've got that we can kill a few of them. Plus we have the camouflage thing. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get Paige killed though if we try this shit. Well she can run. We'll distract them. <laughs> should feel nice <laughs> in a couple seconds minutes <clears throat> yeah a couple minutes should be quite good to Queen here I'm about to recover an antizen drop good Crane. this offers us a new strategy time to turn your attention to rise listen closely it's very possible that rise is our man so if you find an airdrop containing Antizen, destroy it. What? What? what why It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Lion bitch. <clears throat> He's racking a gun over there. Do what? <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> oh man, this is so scumbag. <laughs> Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Yeah. Why am I doing that? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> I don't want to be an asshole. Shit. <laughs> it's okay, Crane doesn't want to be an asshole either.
Run! So we, uh... <laughs> um. Holy shit, are these immortal? I don't know, maybe. Ah, uh, let's just go. <laughs> no. It's not immortal. We killed it. Oh. Get the fuck off me. Oh, I'm down. Something blew up. Ooh, shit. That's bad. Oh, shit. I'm being attacked. I totally just vaulted off of Volatile. <laughs> I got five seconds. Uh, no one's gonna get me. What? Nothing. I'm dead. Can't. Th th there's almost no way with Volatiles around. Almost at the tower, we can start fighting stuff uh, right next to it. Well, I gotta get there. Go ahead, because I've been dropping these motherfuckers left and right. Oh well, it, it actually came up yeah. the tower out. <laughs> Holy fuck, I took. <laughs> Far away. There's no way. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to. Look. I took. Man. <laughs> Five of those things. I don't know how many spirals. I was just like in the middle of the street. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. What the fuck? Why can't I kill them? They're still tough. It's weird, but they're still hard to take down. Like the kind of weapons we're using, they should die in one hit. But mm. I think that this nighttime mission is meant to be like this. Because you're meant to just run, run away. Has anybody gotten to the tower? I'm dead. Yeah, I'm there now. Um, well, uh, do the thing so I guess we can just teleport to you. Oh, it was actually, like, on a pause screen and saying that, and now it's letting me move again. Okay, put in further place now. Um, <clears throat> I must be inside you. Yep. <laughs> the only thing that made sense. We oh, some dude's joining. Who? Somebody's invading us. Yep. That's weird. Oh, why did you leave that on? <laughs> I get it. Stop telling me. Because none of us told her to turn it off. <laughs> Can you turn on the now fast travel? Nest. I don't know if you can anymore. There we go. Nope. Now that we've been invaded, we can't go Still further here. with the story. We either have to lose, or we have to beat this guy. Damn the hell. There's four of us. <laughs> yeah, well... <clears throat> Yeah. Human killed. Oh no. Yeah, I you came out of the safe zone and instantly died. It's just fucking fantastic. Yeah, you got Krem. Alrighty then. Where the fuck are you? Just wherever? <laughs> you can be anywhere. Make sure you got your UV light, because it's the only thing that's going to stop his pounce. Because his pounce is what's going to one kill us. Oh, 
Oh, fuck it. Just fell into the big old hole. This is getting old. Clearly not behind him. <laughs> no, I fell because apparently he can jump Still places here. I can't. I can feel it. I, this dude can move. Mm -hmm. I'm there he is. After somebody. Wait, turn the lights back on. <laughs> Nothing I can do for him now. I'm down. But we got him too. <clears throat> somebody help me. Somebody help me. Wait, is it not enough to destroy him? No, we have to destroy those nests. Like that's our, that's our objective, is to destroy the nest because he's gonna be able to keep coming back as long as there's even one of those nests alive. Keep your head on a swivel. Oh, he's got me! He's got me! He's got me! Damn it. I don't think we have many lives left. <laughs> How do we not turn this shit? We will. We will. I think we lost it. We just can't get to it. We, got we still got the, that actually. Yep. Yeah, we still got it though. So apparently we didn't need to win. We just need to participate. So we're good. <laughs> we are good. <clears throat> I got a kill on him though. Wait, why am I getting fucked up? What the hell is going on? Oh, we're still out in the middle of the night because, you know... Reasons. <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. And now I'm dead. Oh, okay, that's annoying. I can't turn on my flashlight. I think my game's, like, fucking busted. There we go. Holy Jesus. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. Where's our waypoint? I'm coming. Where's our objective? <laughs> Activate light trap. Fucking Christ. Like a safe zone. This is it for you. I'm just I'm just 
gonna stay by this bed for people to come to more. <laughs> Where? I think we're here. No? Fuck it. I'm fast traveling there. Alright. I'm here. This fucking Christ. Oh, I thought it was all in there. <laughs> so. I disabled that. I'm assuming everybody else got the same option. Yeah, yeah. I had to disable on that shit too. Like, I don't, have, I don't have the patience for that. Like, if I wasn't. You know, if we weren't trying to actually get the. The game started in our world, like sure, our worlds where you know we've got a bunch of shit done already. Sure, but that is just a nuisance when you're trying to get your game started. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's our quest, uh, Paige? I think you have to do the quest. Yeah. Um, I can do that. Yeah. Um, you have hit, to hit your uh, you click touch your uh, touchpad and then set the quest for airdrop. Or any of those side quests actually, it's daylight. So. Looks like it's like a drop all hidden. Oh, great. So that glitched us out, and now the quest isn't going to show on the map for the rest of us. It says report to Brecken on the 19th floor. Well, if you go there. But do you have it set? Go to the map and just put your marker on it. We can follow a marker. It's the tower, so here. There. Go there. Oh, yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> that clearly threw all of us off our game. Yeah. So if we're going to run around with uh, oh, invasion and and enabled, we should probably be equipped for an invasion all the time. Oh, I turned it back off. Yeah. Um, I know we turned it off, but yeah, I agree with you. If we choose to do that again at some other point, then yeah, before we turn it on, we need to be Have ready. Gun guns and sh flares and shit. <laughs> yeah, because I had the, uh, I had Rice's pistol, but he's quick. And I think, honestly, I'd rather have one of the shotguns with, like, damn near 4,000 damage, because he's still... I was using a weapon with over 2,000 damage, and he was still soaking that. Well, what you need is one of them okay. AR-15s like they used in Orlando. It shoots exploding bullets, they home around corners, <laughs> I mean, it's just the greatest weapon ever, so... Well, we've got some pretty nice assault rifles, and honestly, in that situation, where we, we would always want to stay in no less than teams of two. Yeah. And that if you would have be the smart people, thing to do. You have multiple people rolling around with either assault rifle, even the one that's a little weaker, but it's full auto, just because you can hold that light on him and still do whatever else. Attack, shoot, run, jump, all that crap, so... I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah as long as you're holding L2, you can do everything else, you know, everything that you need to do on the right side of the controller can still be done without having to let go of mm. L2. That's oh, why my man. light always runs out super fast. Because I did as soon not as I see that. him, that's yeah. As soon okay. as I see him, that's how I got that kill. I felt I got he killed somebody, and we were in a train car, in one of the train cars, and I was just holding that, holding L two, and hitting R two over and over again. Okay, and, that that I didn't know see because it basically like visually it pockets your like your weapon goes down visually. So I was going like, oh okay, this means I can't swing. Yeah, no, you're. You can you can swing. You can look with you know. You can continue to to be looking around with R uh, three of course, right stick. Um, you can jump, slide, like whatever. Because I'd hit him with the light, and then if he started being able to get too many hits in because it was getting weak, I would use R one to jump away from him, jump back. I kind of want to do it again. Because now, like now that I've played him a little bit, when he gets hit with that UV. He gets slowed down. He can't really, he can't use any of his abilities. All he can do is attack, and he can only attack like every once in a while. Because he's holding his hands up in front of his face, trying to block the UV light. Mm. So it's probably why like the UV light flares would work really fucking good too. Because flares work the same way, especially because we all have, uh, we all have Zade's flares, which work like UV flares. So, yeah. 
having those equipped would also probably be smart. Throwing those down around us so that he can't do that fucking... Pounce? Yeah. And Pounce is not on a cooldown. He can... Pa and the way Pounce works is when he pulls it off, when he kills you, when he gets that killing blow, he leaps up after that. So if, there, so if one of us are close, he can instantly then pounce on one of us as well. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Yeah, because there's no So cool that's how he took down, I think he took down you just decided that I'll me, Reaper, Everybody but me and, in like 10 seconds. And yeah. No one really didn't take, he would have killed me too. Not even that slow. I mean, the kill feed was just like three kills, like bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that's, well, because if he doesn't get hit with that UV, which pretty much grounds him, go for it. Which pretty much grounds him and makes him so he can't use any of his abilities or really even attack. Then, yeah, he gets that kill bite because it's like a bite uh, animation. Sure you're up for this. Yeah. And then he it leaps, done, he pushes himself off the ground, off the oh. body, and oh. leaps oh. into the air. So if he's fast enough, if he can track us fast Rest enough, then here. he can just put just his crosshair. He doesn't even have to be like on us, so just in our general direction, and then hit square again, and he and he's pouncing again, getting a one hit kill. Wow. And it seems like you can't stop it because there was a couple times where he was he pounce on me and I'd see that one of you guys had your UV light on him. And it was just like taking him longer to do the kill animation, but I think the only way you can get him off of somebody when they're like that is to probably hit him. Cause the light wasn't enough. Yeah. Not to get him off. Well, we're done with airdrop if you wanna do the uh th um thing that you were gonna do. Since we can obviously oh, be invaded you. now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll back out and see what, uh, yeah, I'll back out and see if I can get in. Doc's going to have to unlock that, though, again. And that's, oh, yeah. the downfall, though, is that, like, this leaves you guys open. Like, I may not be able to get to you first. Right. I'll do friends only anytime. Yeah, try that, maybe. I'll see, I'll jump into that, that lobby and see if I can see you, but... Who are we missing? And don't, don't disable invasions yet, just wait until... Wait until I'm in there so I can at least maybe refresh the list quickly and find you before somebody else does. <clears throat> wait on you, John. He said he'd be back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know exactly. There you go. I have returned. Okay, he's so we desperate, he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Rise. And since I'm supposed to yes, determine but, whether uh, Rice is the one who stole the GRE secret you. document, that way, the you know, you we have to be nighttime too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would make sense. You can only get invaded at night. So as, soon as, we, as soon as it loads up, we'll go to the bed. Alright, so I am in the lobby searching right now, so I would say now would probably be the best time to turn invasions on. And Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's a... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't turn get invasion on rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know yeah. him for that long. Right. But yes, it's, it's very good time. He was the best. Most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that now I don't come get in that bed with us. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. Whoa. Okay. Well, you guys aren't on here yet, so just, okay, we're just loaded. Just come back in one piece, all right? All right. I'm gonna refresh. Oh, there's an airdrop. Nighttime airdrops are better, aren't they? I don't know. Uh, no, it's just you being out at night that's better. Oh. Airdrops. I've almost forgotten what airdrops are like. <laughs> yeah. 
I still see nothing. It's still refreshing now. Maybe it doesn't let you purposefully invade your friends. Uh, see, but I read something somewhere about if you can get some friends together who aren't pricks, then, <laughs> then you can do this, exactly what we're trying to do right now. I just wonder, though, because it said that it was trying to find me a game yeah. that's... It says searching for suitable opponents. So I wonder if it's actually going off of, off of like, my game point or something like that. Hmm. Because I haven't seen anybody on a quest earlier than siblings. Go... Okay. Other two. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. That's a fire sign there. Ah, just a little premature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try. Try public. Because I have a feeling that's what this is. Okay, it's. on public? Otherwise, I wonder if it's like tracking how far my progress is over the and That's why I can't. Because we're on packed with rice, right? With rice, packed with rice. You know where we're at now? Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm seeing those. I'm seeing those games pop up. For that game, man. Their furthest on. But, yeah. Her game's just not showing up. Anymore. I hate when. I hate though when you, um. Are legendary. You don't see if like you get the kill or not. You know. Yeah. I mean, just take the an way when your buddy gets the kill, though. The way to tell actually is it where the where your legendary rank is in the top left, and you can see like the the experience bar is going around that rank now. Every time you get experience, and of course you won't know whether it's kill or, or, assist. or assist, but that bar will blow. It'll like blink, letting you know that you're getting experience. Because most of the time when you're doing nothing, you'll notice that that experience bar going around your rank is like a dull gray. But anytime you're getting actual active experience, it'll. It'll like glow white. Mm. Nope. I don't know what it is. I mean, it clearly, clearly can't be how far that is because there are plenty of them in here right now with Pack with Reyes as their quests that they do. Mm. Yeah. Keep expanding it, I guess. So. If that's the only saving grace, is that I still I just have to hope that I get to you guys and hope something else does. I have to just keep waiting for this thing to expand. Ah, so oh, here we go. Doing it. <clears throat> well, someone joined. Well, I should just be able to join up on your game. Why do I feel like he just joined us as a person? You mean like somebody joined the team person? Mm, Not an actual. Yep. yep. <laughs> Somebody's probably like, I'm scared, help me. 
<laughs> okay, Paige, your job is to go to pause menu, go to Chris Nusco 25, you're gonna hit your little X button on him, and there's gonna be an option to uh, boot that fool. And you either already did it, or he just left us on the board. He left. <laughs> I, I personally enjoy kicking players. Yeah. I would tell you, I thoroughly enjoy going through my friends list and just booting a whole bunch of them. I was just like going through and I was like, well, see, I met you in this game, don't care. <laughs> just went through and eradicated almost my entire friends list, I think. I think there's like five people on there, including the three of you. That's not hers. I don't know you. <laughs> I just fucking I was like, no, no, no. That's what I'm with. See, that's one of the things I'm forgetting God, but it's okay. King of the Hill, that means. Uh, I don't, I didn't enjoy King of the Hill, so I definitely would not. I've just seen a spattering of episodes, but there's the, the one where Bobby takes self defense and it's a women's self defense class. So it's like, they teach him to be like, that's my purse, I don't know you, and kick people in the nuts. <laughs> I think I remember at least seeing that episode, though. Yeah, that episode's hilarious. How many vault does it kill? I think I've gotten I'll three or four. The orange dot. They clearly are not quite as tough as they once were, huh? <laughs> you not survive the night yet. Mm, almost. Are we gonna go to that circle? Um, not till daylight. Um. <coughs> Someone else joined. Oh, it was Reaper. Someone's joining Kick it on No, come back, come back, come back. You're my friend. Come back. I'm gonna explore in <clears throat> Come back, you're my friend. Do, 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 do. Where are you going for? Hey, Briar. What? What the hell? I tried to join. I couldn't, uh... Oh, it said you were in here, and then it said you left. I was like, where the hell did you go? Yeah, I, like, never went in. It just stayed on a black screen forever. Oh, shit. Well, it, it's, it's, it showed you in here, and then you left. I was like, where the hell did you go? Doing it again. Oh, shit, Just a black man. screen. Then it's gonna boot me back to my game. Why does it do that? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do another hmm. night run. I can use that XP. <laughs> I would like to do anything. <laughs> Any kind of XP would be great. Yeah. You Alfie? Well, so, I, think I'm shooting I don't know off what the, the hell is going on. Just... Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you... It's weird that it's doing that. I can't turn but on I the definitely flashlight. Cannot, definitely cannot join that game. So. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Mm, 
Well, we can all go to the main menu, uh, restart, and then that'll probably fix it. Usually fixes things. Yeah, I'm gonna back all the way out. Hmm. That itself might actually fix it. You won't find better deals <laughs> in all of Haran. It's acting funny. Up. Oh. I dropped out. Let's well, see if first, it'll Jake work. was reluctant to even talk to me. But after oh. I mentioned what I did to Rice, the Saviors decided to give me a hand. Did you drop out too? They helped me get to Sector Zero. Yeah, everybody go back to the main menu and we'll we'll just straight up restart. I did. I just restarted the game. Say uh, zombie invasion at night or any time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just going to be luck of the draw whether or not one of us could try to get to. It's really weird. Really Somebody weird, else can get there. Because uh, you said you, you saw the thing where those guys were doing it. Yeah. At first, Jank was reluctant to even talk to me. But after I mentioned no, what no. I did to Rice, maybe it's just the server the itself. Maybe it just doesn't. A hand. It can't refresh so fast get enough. To sector zero. I got a shit ton of XP for doing that night run though. Don't know exactly how much, but. I'm loading in this time. <laughs> this is a good time. Oh my god. Tell me it's just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. Oh, just well, I've got a black screen now. Where are the monsters? It says you're gonna kick you back to yours. Why does it do that? I got black screen. <laughs> I'm, just complete, I'm just gonna completely close the game. That's I already did it. That's what I did when I said I restarted the game. That's exactly what I did. Backed all the way out, waited a couple minutes, then restarted the game itself from the, from you know the dashboard. And I am sitting on a black screen of doom right now. Oh shit, I'm in. That took a really long time. I don't think I'm in. I think I'm back at my game. I'm back at my game. Okay, I'm just gonna try to join you guys. Oh, you guys are way over there.
That's how we do that shit. Fuck zombies. Pricks. Is everybody in now? John's no, not yet. Uh, we'll find out if I make it. Well, we'll find out. I'll just I'll just keep joining it. It works. Just you guys do it. I'll just I'll just keep hammer away until I get it because it's the easiest thing to do. Right, I'm in the substation. Just find the control panel. Turn, 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 turn the switch on. Turn the switch on. Reboot the system. Reboot the system. Done. Good. Good. Now we've got to do the now same thing in the same thing in the same thing in the substation. I got it. Well, maybe. There's a zombie on a telephone pole. All right, Alfie, two down, one to go. <laughs> Alright Alfie, two down, one to go. Alright Alfie, is... two down, one to go. Alright Alfie, two down, one to go. Just not too sure. What's that, dear? Just now walking through a horde of zombies and just one hitting now. everything. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, it's 
this is some bullshit. Send me an actual invite and see what happens. Do it again. Yeah, it'll say that, and now it's about to say I left. Oops. injury when I rejoined my game. I was already <laughs> being grabbed by zombies. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Getting wailed on, that was just perfect. Um...